Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another plan as I go video and this is going to be for the week of May 1st through the 7th. This plan with me is going to be a super exciting one because it is in collab with Sherry from Planning Peep. If you do not know who Sherry is, she is so awesome. Her spreads are so, so gorgeous, and she is so sweet and so supportive. I highly recommend that you guys follow her on Instagram and on YouTube because she has amazing videos. So if you don't follow her, I'll have all her links down below, and you guys will want to watch her videos. She's so, so awesome, and I just love listening to her voice. She has such like a soothing voice, and it's just so calming. I love watching her videos. So I'm so excited for this collab and the kit that we're going to be using because this kit is so gorgeous. It's been so, so hard for me to hold on to this kit until this current week because it's so pretty and I wanted to use it like immediately, but I definitely held out so that I could do this collab with Sherry. So here is the kit that I am speaking of. It is this one here from Two Little Bees. It is so, so, so pretty. It's gorgeous. I love the art that she used. Maria from Two Little Bees has such a unique style and I love it so much and it works so well for me when it comes to my plan as I go style. So let me go through the kit with you guys. Here are the full boxes and these are so pretty. So this one down here with the flowers inside the rain boots and then the bikes are one of my two favorite full boxes from the sheet. And then this quote says, live life in full bloom. So I think it's just so pretty and perfect for spring. So those are the full boxes. Here are the bottom washi and cut washi, and I love this bottom washi. I love how simple it is, and again, with the little bicycle on there, it's so cute and so, so pretty. Um, I know Sherry didn't pick up the full kit. I picked up the full kit myself, but Sherry did not, so she picked up certain sheets. So I'm excited to see what sheets she picked up and how she uses them. So here are your half boxes. You have your date covers, some more like cut washi, and then you have these clipboard boxes up here, which I love. These are full size, so they're the same size as the full deco boxes, which I love using these for like events that take up a, a ch huge chunk of time. And then you have your headers and your little things. And then you have your full ombre heart checklist boxes. You have this functional page that has like your sidebar items up here and down here, some various headers, half boxes, a bill do sticker, and then you have some deco type stickers here, these little arrows. You have the three heart checklist boxes, or not boxes, flags, and then you have some various deco headers here, which I love these. These are gonna be really pretty to use. And then you have this last functional page with the flags, circle icons, and beautiful deco. So I'm so excited to use this kit and I cannot wait to see how Sherry used this kit. So I'm gonna walk with you guys in setting up my planner for the week as far as like everything that I pre-plan on a normal basis and then I will go through day by day. So the first thing I usually do on my weeks when I'm setting them up in my hourly, which I forgot to mention, this is my hourly planner, um, I usually put down the washi. So depending on how thick the washi is itself, I might put it along the top or I put it along the bottom. And if I can cut it without messing up the deco, then I like to put it along the top. But since this one is thicker and I don't wanna cut it because the deco will get, um, messed up so i'm gonna stick this along the bottom and in my hourly whenever i do put deco or the washi at the bottom i like to bring it down farther than the line down here so i like to try to line it up with one of the lines that are part of the hourly columns and i just stick this down like so and i think it looks so pretty down there so i'm going to do that with the other side really quick Okay, so I have the bottom washi down, and then next thing I like to do is do my day covers, if there are day covers, which I usually try to use kits in my hourly that have day covers because I do like to cover up these dates. So this kit does have day covers, and she doesn't have date dots, but I'm just gonna write in the date on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the dates and then lay these down really quick. 
So I filled out the dates, but I wanted to explain how I do the date covers. I usually just like to line them up along the top line here and then left justify them so that they're all the same. And most of the date covers that I use do cover up the whole date itself. So that's how I just like to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the date covers and then I'll be back. Okay, so those are all of the date covers. And then the next thing I like to do is just do my sidebar really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these full boxes. And I think I'm just gonna use this beautiful rain boot with the flowers in them since it's my favorite full box. Okay, so now that I have the full box down, I like to do the rest of my sidebar. So in my sidebar, it varies on what I have in the kit. So since this kit did come with little things, I'm gonna use the meal little things and not put the meal tracker in my sidebar. So I'm going to actually use the weekly habit tracker that comes in the kit for my workouts. So to notate that, I'm just gonna stick down a piece of washi that she has, like the thicker piece, if I can find my washi sheet. And since I use the This Week header, it's in purple, I think I'm just gonna use this beautiful like teal one with the flower design. And I like to stick that directly under the full box just to cover up that flag that is part of the kit or the page. So then I use the This Week header and I stick it right in the middle of that washi that I put down. And then directly below that, I like to put down the weekly habit tracker. And this will be for workouts this week, which for me, my workouts are the amount of miles that I walk or run each day. So I like to total them up. I do run and walk multiple times a day. So I just do the total amount at the end of the day for my last run or walk. And then I put it on here. So after that, I like to put down a little checklist for my happy mail. So I think what I'm gonna do this time, since she doesn't have like a Happy Mail header, I'm just gonna take like one of these note stickers and I'm gonna take it down a little bit. I'm not gonna put it directly above, next to the checklist, our weekly habit tracker there. And I'm going to cover that notes up with one of these little Happy Mail script stickers from Sweet Pink Elephant. I love these so much. And I couldn't wait to use these. I had just got them in yesterday, so you'll see them in a haul video but I couldn't wait to use it so I'm just gonna take one that matches the kit so probably like this purple one here with the purple heart and I'm just gonna cover up that notes word like so and then I take one of the checklists and then below that I like to put down a habit tracker and I'll use the teal one and that will be for my vitamins just to make sure that I take my daily vitamins because um, I mentioned in another video that if I don't put this down I forget to take my vitamins and I don't like not taking my vitamins. So to put next to that I like to use these little pill stickers from Magnolia Boulevard and I just write vitamins and then I just put this down. So I'm gonna stick a purple one and I think I'll use like the deeper purple. And then I just have this little blank spot down here and I usually like to fill that with deco. So that's all that I usually do with my side bar and I'll fill that in later. So then I like to go through day by day and pre-plan anything that I know is going to happen. So. For this week and for next week, actually, I am doing my graduation countdown. So I like to use these little flag-shaped countdowns from Little Miss Papery. And I usually just stick them along the top of the day and right under the day covers, like so. So I'm gonna stick all of these down really quick and then I'll be back after I do that. Okay, so I got all the date cover, or not date cover, sorry, graduation countdowns down. So next I like to do is put down my meal tracker since this week I'm not putting it in the sidebar. Okay, so after I do that, then I like to do day by day any appointments that I have or like stuff that I know will be happening. So the first thing that I have for this week is on Wednesday and that is 
actually Tuesday, sorry. So Tuesday I have a Bill Due. So the Bill Due sticker I'm going to be using is from Magnolia Boulevard. And I think I'm just gonna use like this peachy color because it matches pretty well with like the peach color in this kit. And that is, bill is actually like my lawn service. So they usually just send the invoice to us and then we pay them. So this is usually due on Tuesdays and I like to pay the bills like first thing in the morning. So I stick any bill dues along the top. So there's that. And then on Wednesday, my dog heartworm medicine is due. So to mark that, I'm just gonna take one of these cut washi pieces that's blank and then stick it up here as well. And I'm gonna take the little dog paw stickers from Bubba Bear Studios. And then I just like to put that here and just notate that his heartworm medicine is due. Okay, so that's all that I do for that. And then on Wednesdays as well, my recycling and trash needs to go out so that it can be picked up in the, ne the next morning. So I usually like to mark that with these little recycling icons from Rory's Sweet Addiction. And I think this week I'm going to use this tealish color maybe. And I usually just stick the icon along the bottom and then I write recycling and trash. Okay, and then that's all that I really have for the for first portion of the week. So then I'm gonna go ahead and flip to the other side and then we'll continue with the rest. Okay, so for this last half of the week, Friday is actually my husband's birthday. So to mark his birthday, and I'm gonna put it along the top because it's something very special. I'm going to take one of the little clipboard stickers and I'm gonna take the, sh the first one, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna stick it along the top. So I'm gonna take two things to help mark his birthday. I'm gonna take these birthday stickers from Moonlight Paper Co. I love these so much and I love how they say birthday with the birthday candles along the top. I think they're so cute. So I'm gonna use these. In addition, in addition to that, I'm gonna use these little poo, poo, really? Party boo stickers and I'm gonna use I think I'm gonna use the bigger one. I've mentioned in like two videos now that this little guy's, his facial expression just reminds me of my husband cause he's just not one to like really celebrate his birthday and he just thinks it's another day. So I thought this was so cute. So I'm gonna layer these together. So I'm gonna bring him down just a tad in the middle and I'll write hubby up there. And then I'll put this right down, oops along the bottom of the clipboard and it'll just layer right over the boo sticker and I think it's so cute. I love that and I'll just write hubby up here. On Friday my giveaway goes live and I don't know what time it's gonna go live yet but I'm just so excited about it and it's a giveaway to celebrate my one year anniversary, so I am throwing like a big loop giveaway with a couple of planner friends and I'm so just really excited to share with you guys. So by the time you see this video, it will be live, but I'm just excited. So I'm gonna take this little half box and I'm gonna stick it right under that full box there that I put down. And I'm going to take one of these munchkins that have the little heart and she's just like excited. So I'm going to take this and stick it here and this is just gonna mark my giveaway. So I'm gonna do that. I'll fill that out later because I need to figure out what time we're gonna post. So that's it for Friday. Sunday, the last thing I have is my trash needs to go out so that it can be picked up on Monday. So I'm gonna use these little icons again for Maury's Sweet Addiction and this is just the trash one instead of the recycling one. And I'm going to use the little blue one. Okay, so that's usually how I set up my week when it comes to my hourly. I like to put the foundation down as far as my sidebar and bottom washi and anything that I'm tracking. I like to put all of that down and then I like to put down my bills or any appointments or things that I know will not change. So that's usually how I pre-plan in my hourly and this is usually what my pre-plans look like whenever I start the week. So I just wanted to sit down with you guys and go through that with you all so that you guys can see that because I've been getting questions on like how do I 
plan in my hourly and stuff so this is just a little preview of how I pre-plan in it and I am excited to share with you guys how I do this so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing day by day since I told you today is Tuesday and I'm thinking I'm just gonna sit down every two days and just fill out my planner so if I already have everything filled out I usually take like a sticky note or something like this or like these little ones and I put it on each day so I usually come in here in the morning and write everything that I need to do for the day and then later on in the day I like to just write down what I did so like any long walks that I did or if I um, like events that may have happened last minute so like yesterday my husband came home from work late so that was something that I wrote later on in the day so this is just an example of how I use my hourly so let's go ahead and just go into Monday. So Monday was the Erin Condren pre-sale launch and I did end up buying a planner. So I'm so excited for that. I wanted to mark that as well. So I'm going to take this half box here and I'm going to stick it along the top. And I'm going to take a little munchkin right here to mark that I ordered my planner. And I'm just going to take this excited one. She's so cute. I love these little munchkins. And I'm going to stick that there and I'll fill it out later because um, it'll be faster for me to lay down the stickers first and then fill it out later. And then I just started to get into things that I needed to get done for the day. So I'm going to take a little triple heart checklist flag. And with these, I like to make sure they line up as close to, as possible to the lines in the hourly. So I like to lay these down first before I put down any headers. So I just lay this down and then line it up like so. And then I take a header and I'm gonna use this beautiful to-do header because I think it's so pretty. Actually, I wanna take um, this checklist down just a tad because this header is a little thicker. So I'm gonna take it down just a little bit. And I like doing it this way because I like to make sure that they line up as close as possible to the lines of the Erin Condren's hourly planner and it also helps like if I'm cutting in my checklist so like if I had one of the longer checklists that had like five or six hearts on it and I cut it and I end up cutting it crooked on accident the header actually covers that it's crooked so I like to do that just to cover up any um, errors in my cut lines that I actually do And so that's all that I really needed to do. And then after that, I needed to pay my tuition so that I can graduate because if I didn't pay it, then they won't send me my transcript and stuff. So to notate that I needed to pay my tuition, I'm going to use these little Bubba Barrington uh, money dollar things from Bubba Bear Studios. These are so cute. They have a, like a little guy in there. He's so adorable. He looks like George Washington, but... Anyway, so I needed to pay my tuition and tuition is not cheap. So I just wanted to mark it. So I'm gonna stick this here. Okay, so after that, I just wanted to lay down some washi to notate that I wanted to finish or start laundry. So I'm just gonna take this washi piece here. And then I'm gonna take these stickers from Moonlight Paper Co to mark that I wanted to do the laundry. Usually Mondays are my laundry days anyway, but I just needed to mark it. And I wanna use like a bluish color to match this. I love that blue, so I'm just gonna take this one. All right, so that's my laundry. And then after I started laundry and got that going, that usually takes all day anyway. I like to, I had to film and edit my video that went live on Tuesday. So to mark that I filmed and edit, I'm going to use the little purple film and then that little pink edit sticker. And these are from Sweet Bean Plans. I love these so much. They're so cute. And I actually bought these when they were like on two, her $2 Tuesday, but I actually really bought them for my hourly because I loved how they were just simple. So I just lay these down like so. And then after I did my filming and editing, I just wanted to mark that. Actually, I wanna lift these up really quick cause I wanna put a half box down. Cause I really just did this all day and then like made dinner, which I'll write my dinner here. But I'm gonna put a full box down and I think I'm just gonna take 
So I marked that and then the last thing that I really wanted to mark for the day was my husband came home late from work and he came home really late so I had a lot of time to myself to just like get any tasks that I wanted to get done. So to mark that he came home late, I'm just going to use these little sad Bubba Bear stickers from Bubba Bear Studios and these are like her bear emojis and I'm going to use like the medium sized pink one. I'm just going to stick it here and that's just to mark that my husband came home late and then we ate dinner. So that's pretty much it for Monday. So Tuesday, which is today, I had to pay the lawn and then I got up super early to help my husband fin go to work because he had to get back to work early this morning and um, finish the tasks that he was working on. So I'm just going to take this pink washi here and I'm going to stick it up here like so and then I'm going to take one of my little Mona stickers from Boba Bear Studios and I'm just going to stick her right in the middle because or actually to the side I'm just going to rate that I got up early because and it was so tired I was so tired this morning okay so after that I just wanted to um, get some tasks out of the way so I needed to make a phone call so I'm just going to use this cute little munchkin from Once More With Love to make a call and I think I'll just use this first one like so, and then I'll write that in later. And then after that, I just needed to do some stuff for uh, prepping for university if I wanna go to university. So I was just looking into research and stuff. So I'm just gonna take this purple one and I'm gonna stick it like so. After that, I just took a nap because I was so tired. So I'm just gonna take this teal full box and stick it down here. Like so, and then I'm gonna take my Napping Queen stickers from Bubba Bear Studios. You guys, I you know already that I love Bubba Bear Studios. She's like one of my favorite shops, so it shouldn't be a surprise that I'm using a ton of her stickers. But I'm gonna take two of the to-do headers and I'm gonna stick it right in the middle of this full box. And I'm just layering them one on top of each other. Like so, and then I'm gonna take the peachy color nap queens and I'm gonna stick her right in the middle to cover up those to-do headers because I did take a pretty hefty nap. So after that, I just wanted to mark that I wanted to get my laundry finished. So I'm taking this little emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co and it's the last one on the sheet, but I'm just gonna stick this like right up here just to notate that I wanted to finish laundry. And then below that, I want to, I'm gonna take one of the little things actually, like so, I'm gonna stick this here, but I'm gonna cover the icon. I know she has TV icons, but I really love these TV stickers from Bubba Bear Studio, so I wanted to use these. So I'm just gonna use the purple one. I'm just gonna stick it like so, and I'm gonna use that to mark that I binge watched Netflix today, like super binge watch Netflix. Actually, I might lower it just a little bit. And then after that, after like I did a bunch of binge watching, I did go on like a super long walk with my husband. So to mark my long walks, I use these little sneaker stickers from Panda Bird Designs, and I love these. I need to pick up more before I run out, but these are my favorite. So that's it for Monday and Tuesday. So let me go ahead and finish filling this out really quick, and then um, come back. Okay, so that is Monday and Tuesday filled out and I did fill out the sidebar So I'll be back on Wednesday and Thursday to fill out those days with you guys So I'll see you guys in the next half. Okay, so I'm back for the second portion of the video So I'm gonna start off on Wednesday and the first thing I want to mark is that it was a super rainy day So I'm going to use these adorable little munchkins from once more with love and it was super rainy and like windy all day so I want to use this little one here because I think it's so cute and since it was raining all day yesterday like in the morning was like the only time that I could go and get groceries and I didn't want to drive in the rain so I went ahead and got groceries early in the morning so I want to mark that with a little icon I think I'm just going to use this to buy header right here and then I'm going to cut one of these full boxes and I'm just going to put down 
the groceries that I needed to pick up. I didn't have to go like full on grocery shopping. I just needed to pick up three things or four things, sorry. So I'm just gonna cut up one of these to four hearts like so. Then I just have two pieces. And then I'm gonna take the little grocery shopping cart from the kit, a little icon, and I'm just gonna stick it here just to add a little decorative item there. And then after that, I just came home and did a lot like binge watch TV basically. So I'm just gonna take one of my little TV icons from Bubba Bear Studios. And after I did a little bit of binging on YouTube, I decided that I needed to clean the house. So I'm going to put down these little cleaning circles and one is for sweeping and then one is for mopping. And these are from Bubba Bear Studios. So I'm gonna put down a piece of washi And then after that, I just I just got dinner ready. So I'm just going to take the little fork and spoon icon and maybe one of these flags, because I think these flags are really pretty. And then after that, we just kind of like ate dinner and relaxed a little bit, but the internet went out because of the storm. So we were having like a super bad thunderstorm like all night. So the internet went out and we didn't get it back up until like early the next morning. So I'm gonna use these little stunned catacorns and these are from Bubba Bear Studios because when the internet goes out, it totally sucks at my house because we don't have the best like cell service in our neighborhood, like in our area. So when the internet goes out, we don't really, we can't really do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip to Thursday. Okay, so now we're on Thursday. So to start Thursday off, I just wanna put down a piece of washi and a sticker for sleeping in because I slept in this morning. My husband decided to sleep in a little bit, so I got to sleep in a little bit. So I'm just gonna use these little sheep with the word sleep in from Lexi Kylie Designs to mark that. I usually um, get up super early because I fix my husband's or lunch to take to work. And then um, after that, I kind of just, like I woke up and I had like a really bad headache. So I'm gonna mark that with a half box. Put down a little munchkin that I have that I usually use for headaches that don't keep me like bedridden. Like I'm still able to do stuff, but it just really sucks. So these are the little munchkins and I'm gonna use one of these. Okay, so that's for my headache that I had. And then I decided that I was gonna take, drink some coffee so that I can try to get rid of the headache. Sometimes like caffeine helps with my lighter headaches. So the sticker that I want to use for that are these little Starbucks inspired coffee cups from Moonlight and Paper Co. And I love these so much. And I just love the variety of colors on this sheet. Um, and these are the smaller ones. She has larger ones, but I wanted to use the smaller ones. So I think I'm just gonna use like this light purple one because I think that matches pretty well with the kit colors. And then after that, I realized that I needed to get some stuff done for my giveaway that is coming out on Friday, which is tomorrow. I'm filming this on Thursday. So today I needed to make sure that I got my graphics done for the giveaway and send that out to everybody and just get a good idea of where everybody stands on the giveaway. So I needed to mark that. So the first thing I did was create the graphic. So I'm gonna use these little bows from Planner Bell Press, and I love these so much. They're so cute, and I think they're just adorable. And then after that, I needed to make sure that I take pictures of the giveaway items that are gonna be going out to people. And I'm gonna mark that with these little munchkins from Once More With Love. And I think I'm just gonna use this one here because I think she's so cute. Okay, and then after that, I went ahead and filmed a couple of videos. So I'm filming, obviously, this video that you're watching, and then I filmed 
another video for the giveaway. So I'm going to use these little YouTube um, icons from Rory's Sweet Addiction. And I'm going to use the little two hearts that I had cut out of the checklist from earlier. And then after that, I just needed to do a couple of more things. So I needed to make sure that I washed my dog's bedding because I wash that like twice a week. So I'm going to use the little, little thing, but I'm going to cover up the icon. So I'm going to use these little black paws from Bubba Bear Studios. And I use these a lot to like mark simple tasks that I have to get done for my dog. And then after that, I just needed to wash dishes, really, because I have a ton of dishes. I think I might use like a, a Modi from the Coffee Monsters Co., like one of her dishes ones here. So I think I'll just use like the small one because she's tiny. So that is it for Thursday. I'll be back probably on Sunday to film the rest of this video. So I will be back. Okay, so I'm back with Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I am filming on Sunday evening. So let's go ahead and start with Friday. Friday, the first thing, other than what I have already put down, my husband came home early from work, and I was super excited because I just wanted to celebrate his birthday and just get on with celebrating. So I'm gonna take one of these little quarter box, like washi-sized strips here, and I'm thinking I'm gonna use the little rain boot one instead of the bicycle since the bicycle is down here. And I'm just gonna stick it here. We did a couple of things for his birthday, like on his actual birthday Friday. We didn't do too much because we actually did stuff on Saturday as well. And I'm taking this little excited raindrop sticker from one of the samplers I have from Bubble Bear Studios. I have these on like a full sheet, but I like to try to use up some of the samplers if I can. So the next thing after my husband came home early, I just wanted to mark that I placed an order with um, Little Miss Papery. She was having like a super clearance on all of her current kits because she's reformatting all of her kits or like new kits. So she's just getting rid of like all the old stock. So I went ahead and took advantage of that because you guys know how much I love Little Miss Papery. So to mark that, I'm just gonna take this little purple quarterbacks, I think, or maybe the blue, cause it kind of matches with the kit. And I'm gonna take this little circle that says placed an Etsy order. Even though I didn't order on her Etsy website, I ordered on her actual Shopify website. I'm still gonna use this little sticker cause I think it's so cute. And that little sampler was from Bubba Bear Studios. Is it, it was one of her like misfit sheets that I got. And I like how I got like the functional sheet because I can actually pull these into different spreads, which I have done before. So after all of that, the first thing we did for my husband's birthday was go watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which is like amazing. We love Marvel movies, so we always try to go watch them in theater. So I'm just going to take this little movie marquee from Magnolia Boulevard and I'm going to take this blue one since it pretty much matches the blue in the kit and I think it's really, really pretty. So I love these movie marquees. These are newer in her shop. She just came out with these. I still need to film the haul with these movie marquees because I haven't filmed them filmed the haul yet and I have been neglecting to film it but I will soon because I think I'm gonna have the majority of the Happy Meal that I'm gonna be expecting for a little while in so I will film that soon. So if you haven't watched that movie yet I highly highly recommend watching it because it's really really good and I love it because it's just so funny but like action at the same time and then on top of that I love all of the like sneak previews into new Marvel movies. So I always love watching Marvel movies and seeing all of that. So after we did that at the movies, we decided to go to the mall and just do a little bit of shopping for his birthday. So we got a few things for him. So I'm gonna use these little Once More With Love munchkins. And I think I'm just gonna use the little shopping spree one cause she's so cute. And it was pretty much what my husband did. He just went on a mini shopping spree which I love whenever he gets to just go shopping and pick up stuff for himself because he doesn't do it often, but I like when he does. So I'm just gonna mark that. 
And then the last thing we did was go eat at Red Robins. We don't usually go eat out a lot, so we just decided to go to eat at Red Robins for his birthday since he wanted a nice burger. And I'm just gonna write it in the little meal thing because it was our dinner. Red Robins is so good. We usually get the Whiskey Barbecue River. Is it Whiskey Barbecue River or River Barbecue Whiskey Burger? But it has like barbecue sauce on it and then like the oil, oil? The onion straw things that are like crispy, it's so good. I love it so much, it's really good. And then I always get like the freckled lemonade, but I try not to get it all the time because that is so sugary and not good for you. So moving on to Saturday. Saturday, we slept in, like legit slept in. We didn't get up till like 10 o'clock, almost 11 o'clock. We didn't get out of the house until around noon or something we got out of the house really late which it was nice to sleep in so i'm just putting down another piece of washi and i'm doing the same thing that i did on thursday with the lexi kylie designs sleep in sticker i love these because it just says sleep in on it already and i don't really have to write anything so that's why i use them a lot but i really do need to find some other sleep in stickers that like say sleep in so that i don't have to keep using these all the time either way i still like them and then the other thing on saturday which was yesterday for me as i'm filming this video was my dog's birthday so my dog turned nine years old my little baby boxer is nine years old now and i just want to mark that because it's so important we did get him some stuff for his birthday just like treats and stuff so i'm going to mark that with a few things i'm going to take another one of these birthday stickers from moonlight paper co those same ones that i used on my husband's birthday and i love these i just like how easy they are to use so i'm going to stick this here and i'm going to stick it right at the bottom as well and then i'm going to take one of these from Magnolia Boulevard and they are her little boxer stickers. This dog looks pretty much almost like my dog except my dog has a short tail. He doesn't have a long tail but I wanted to use these because these are so cute and I think they'd be perfect to mark his birthday. So I'm going to use the bigger one here and I think what I'm going to do is actually chop off his tail like in the on the sticker because my dog doesn't have a long tail and so then it looks like this and you can't even tell that i cut it off so that's nice and then i'm just going to stick this little guy right up here the top and then right next to him i'm going to stick some of these little balloons or just one of these little balloons from planning like a pro and i think i'm just going to use the little pink ones Okay, so there you go. His nickname is Momo, but his real name is Mahal, and we call him Momo for short. But Mahal, if you aren't familiar, means love in Tagalog, which is the Filipino language, and I love it. So his actual name is like Mahal Kita, which means I love you in Tagalog. So after that, we went to the car wash because my husband wanted to wash his car. So I'm just going to take the little circle icon in the kit itself, the little car one there, and I'm gonna use that to mark that we washed this car, and I think I'm just gonna stick it down on the page. So after we washed my husband's car, we went over to PetSmart because we needed to pick up some of his my dog's dog food and then get him some like treats and toys. We got him a couple of toys and two bones and we just wanted to get him extra instead of like the one that I usually get. So I'm gonna use this little dog food sticker here on one of my Bubba Bear Studio samplers. I just got a whole sheet of these in the mail, but I wanted to just go ahead and use this sampler. So I just wanted to use the one on this sampler first, and then I'll start using the ones on the sheets that I have. So I think I'm just gonna stick this here directly on this page as well. So usually when I go to PetSmart and buy his food, I usually just buy like one new toy for him. But this time we decided since it was his actual birthday that we were gonna go ahead and buy a couple of new bones and then a couple of new toys just to get hit, give him a little birthday present. Even though he doesn't even know it's his birthday, but still. So after we went to PetSmart, we decided that we we're gonna go ahead and go down to the outlet malls that are like 20 minutes away. They're not too far from us and go out to eat there because we haven't eaten out there before so we just wanted to go see what they had so we went out and ate at crackle barrel which i've never eaten at crackle barrel before my husband has and 
he ate there one time I think he said but we decided to go ahead and try it again for him I'm gonna take this pink full box and I'm gonna actually write on it for the most part so I wanted one that I don't mind covering up a lot of it so there you go so yeah I've never eaten at Crackle Barrel before so I wanted to mark that in here and I did eat I actually am surprised I didn't know that at Crackle Barrel you can eat healthy because they have like a whole healthy menu and you can eat like vegetables more so than like all of the country style food if you're not familiar Crackle Barrel has like it's known for like their home style country food so I was always under the impression that you can only eat like the really really bad heavy 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 food but they actually have a really good healthy selection and what I got was like I think it was called the apple cider barbecue chicken and it was just like a chicken breast with homemade apple cider barbecue on it and it was really good and it had like little chopped up apples on the top that were glazed with the apple cider and I think it had like cranberry chutney mixed in with the barbecue either way it was so so good and I was really really surprised so it is really really affordable I really like it so I'm sure we'll be going back um, eventually but there's one here closer to my house but while we were out there, we went ahead and decided to go eat there. But either way, I enjoyed it. So we ate at Crackle Barrel and then we just went out to the outlet mall. So I'm just gonna take, I think I'm just gonna take one of these little things cause I'm gonna use the little shopping bag and it has florals on there. So I think it's gonna blend with the background of the faux box. So I'm just gonna take a little thing and I'm gonna do blue. Okay, so after we went to the outlets, we came home and I noticed that I had some Happy Meal and it was from my favorite shop, Bubble Bear Studios. So I'm just gonna take this little Happy Meal icon and it's like a Happy Meal, BBS Happy Meal sticker. And he is so cute. I love this little guy so much. I have a sheet of these two, but like I mentioned, I like to use the samplers first, but he's so cute because he's drooling. I love it. So I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna take another little thing and I. Let me figure this out. I know our lawn guys came yesterday too, so I know I'm gonna have to mark that, but maybe I'll put the male one down a little bit farther, but if I do that, hold on. So I'm gonna stick this back here where I had it because it's gonna be purple on purple and I don't want purple on purple. So I'm gonna take these lawnmowers from Lexi Kylie Designs and I'm just gonna take the pink one and this is just to mark that my lawn service came yesterday which surprised me. I didn't know they were gonna come yesterday. I actually thought they were gonna come Monday because they act they were supposed to come on the 7th which is today Sunday but I had a feeling that they weren't gonna come on the 7th itself because it's Sunday. So I personally thought they were gonna be coming on Monday, but they surprised me yesterday, which is okay. So I'm just gonna stick that down there and it overlaps down here, but we didn't really eat like at a big place for dinner. So I'm just gonna write these in really quick. Okay, so I just wrote that we had um, dinner. We picked up, cra not crawfish, we picked up Cajun boiled shrimp for my husband at LA Boilers yesterday. So that's what that's for. So moving on to Sunday, which is today. So today is pretty much a lazy day. We didn't do a whole bunch, like at all. So we've just been chilling a lot. So I'm just gonna take this beautiful, oh, I don't wanna use that because it has the bike on it and the bike is right there. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna save that for something else. I think I'm just gonna use this ant sign. I really wanna use one of these with the wood background because I think they're really pretty. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna stick this down and it's a lazy day sticker from Rory Sweet Addiction. And I'm gonna go with the blue because I think this will match pretty well. Should I do the blue or purple? I think I'm gonna do the purple because I think that matches better. So I'm just gonna stick that right at the top or should I stick at the bottom? No, I'm gonna do it at the top because that's all we really just chilled for most of the day. And then there's a couple of things that I wanted to get done. So I'm gonna take one of these triple heart checklist flags and I'm gonna do the pink one. I think I'm gonna take this little laptop 
icon here and I'm just gonna stick it just to add a little something there so that's it for the little to-do list I also wanted to mark that I had coffee this morning because I needed it I was so tired and in order to actually do anything I needed to drink some coffee so I'm gonna take this little cute arrow like this and point it that way and I'm gonna take these coffee cups from Moonlight Paper Co. I love these so much. I have like all of them and I have more coming because I needed backup sheets. So I'm just gonna stick that here. After I took care of some of this stuff, I needed to wash the dishes. So I'm gonna use one of these little dishes sticker from Bubba Bear Studios and it says, let's talk dirty, which are so cute, I love them. Okay, so after I did the dishes, I decided that I needed to take a nap because my head was hurting. It still kind of hurts right now, but it's not as bad. So I took a nap to get rid of my headache, which didn't work 100%, but it helped a little bit. So I'm going to take a half box. I don't want to use that one because it kind of goes with the box next to it. I think I'm going to stick that there and use, maybe I'll use the green one. And to mark that I like slept and had a headache, I'm gonna use these from Bubba Bear Studios and I'm just gonna use that first one. After that, I just went ahead and started doing my video stuff because I needed to get this video recorded and done. So I'm just gonna use this little YouTube emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. Okay, so this is the completed spread. I think it is so pretty. I love it and I have so much going on on the weekends, which usually I don't have a lot going on. So I did finish my sidebar. I don't remember like all of my miles from the weekend and stuff. So I'm gonna have to look that back up later. But this is the completed spread. I think it's so pretty. I'm so loving it so much. So I have a lot left over in this kit, which I love when I do because I can use it later on in another spread or whatnot. So I'm just going to show you what I have left over. I just have a bunch of stuff left over. Functional stuff. The week, those headers. Quite a few full boxes. Checklists, some washi strips, and then some more of this functional and deco stuff. Which I think I'm going to save the deco because I want to use it again. And I'll be able to really use this in my hourly again. Especially if it's like a busy week where I have a lot going on and I don't need a lot of full boxes. So I'm loving that. So that's all I have left over in the kit. I can't wait to see how Sherry's spread turns out. So definitely check out her video also. And like I had mentioned, I'll have it linked down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.